Lush hills, rippling water, picturesque scenery. This is the Imperial Garden of the Qing Dynasty, 1644 to 1911. In China, the Summer Palace. The Summer Palace was originally named Qingyi Yuan, or the Garden of Clear Ripples. Tradition has it that the sixth emperor of the Qing Dynasty made trips to Jiangnan, a region south of the Yangtze River, and loved the scenery of the West Lake in Hangzhou, so he made painters draw the buildings, pavilions of various kinds there. When he returned to Beijing, he ordered to build the Summer Palace to recreate the beautiful scenery of Jiangnan. The Summer Palace, which took 15 years to build, is connected with the Royal Gardens in the northwest suburb of Beijing, forming the famous Three Hills and Five Gardens. The scenery in the Summer Palace stretches around the center, forming a symmetrical layout in the garden. This central building is the Foshan Pavilion built on a 20-meter high platform in front of the Longevity Hill. Foshiang Pavilion is 41 meters high, with eight sides, three stories and four layers of eaves. There are eight huge salon ironwood load-bearing columns. The structure is very complex, and the beauty of its construction can be appreciated from any angle. The Summer Palace is surrounded by hills and lakes. The Kunming Lake accounts for three quarters of the whole palace area. There is the South Lake Island in the lake, which echoes the Longevity Hill from a distance. The pavilions, terraces and other buildings on the island form a pattern that resembles the legendary fairy island Peng Lai in the East China Sea. So, the South Lake Island is also called, Peng Lai Island. The South Lake Island is not alone in the Kunming Lake. The 17-arch bridge is like a rainbow between the South Lake Island and the eastern bank of the Kunming Lake. Because the stone bridge has 17 bridge arches, it is named the 17 Arch Bridge. This stone bridge is 150 meters long and 8 meters wide. It is the largest bridge in the Summer Palace. There are 128 balusters on the white stone railings on both sides of the bridge, and these balusters are topped with 544 distinctive and vivid carved lions. The most remarkable thing is that every year in the days before and after the winter solstice, golden sunshine penetrates 17 bridge arches, illuminating the side wall of the arches, forming a wondrous picture. The most spectacular structure in the Summer Palace is the long corridor at the south foot of the Longevity Hill. It starts from the inviting the Moon Gate in the east and reaches Sheshong Pavilion in the west. It is backed by the Longevity Hill and faces the Kunming Lake. It is divided into 273 sections by crossbeams and is 728 meters long, hanging in front of the hill like a rainbow. There are more than 14,000 Suzhou-style decorative paintings on the beams of the corridor, the content of which includes landscapes, flowers and birds, and the plots of the four great classical novels of Chinese literature. In December 1998, UNESCO included the Summer Palace on its World Heritage List.